I got 15 places to buy graphic tees at. Let's get to it. Number one, we got H&M. Now, H&M has a lot of classics. I'm gonna say that. H&M has a lot of classics. We all, getting into streetwear, have shopped at H&M before. Even if you're not into streetwear, you've shopped at H&M before. It's a real OG place. It holds a place in all of our hearts. And let's take a moment real quick to just appreciate and really think about how far H&M has fallen off. At least for me, I don't shop there no more, but it feels like they just haven't been the same. But with that being said, H&M has a lot of stuff. They really do. A lot of quality, cheap pieces, if that makes sense. And to me, H&M is like the beginner streetwear starter pack. You know what I'm saying? Like when you start off, go to H&M. It's a nice place where you can actually try on clothes. So yeah, if you like it, go there. Can't lie. But number two, we got Urban Planet. Now, this is one of my favorite places to shop from personally. The sweater is even from there. And that's because it's really cheap. It is really cheap. I get notifications on my phone all the time talking about we got sale this, sale that, buy one, get two free, buy one, get one free, 50% off the whole store. That's why I shop there. And the graphic tees, like 99% of the time will be like two for $15. Now you can't beat that anywhere else store-wise, maybe website-wise you could, but specifically stores, you're not beating that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But that's why I go there. Is the quality the best? It's passable, but it's cheap. So who really cares? Come on. Number three, we got Boohoo Man. Now, if you compare H&M and Urban Planet and put them together, it's basically Boohoo Man. This is basically, to me, the upgraded version of Sheen. Now, no hate on Sheen, but Boohoo Man got it. I thought it was a jean store at first. That's what I thought. I guess that's what they're known for, but they got more than jeans. They got graphic tees, and they cool. Me, personally, I can't really talk too much about them because I've never shopped from there, so I don't have the real experience. I'm not gonna hold you guys. But what it looks like online, it looked pretty good. Can't hold y'all. Speaking of Sheen, we got Sheen at number four. And the thing about Sheen that I like is that yes, the quality may not be there. Some people talk about my freaking oh, the practices behind Sheen aren't safe, nor are they positive. They be doing shady stuff. I don't care about none of that. They got cheap products and they look good. But one thing I gotta tell y'all is if you buy stuff from Sheen, don't expect it to last long at all. Don't don't expect it to last long. A lot of this stuff gonna shrink, discolor, or get messed up in the washing machine. And that's justified because it's like a five dollar t-shirt, seven dollar t-shirt. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get away with Sheen stuff. Yes, it's cool. Yes, it's nice. You can buy a lot for cheap. Trust me. I literally just bought 10 pairs of shorts for like $100. But the quality ain't there. But it looked good though. If it's just for the summer, don't care about the quality. Go to Sheen. Number five is Koi. Koi has a lot of good graphic tees. I don't know really how to explain Koi unless you just explain it as... It's like it's hard to explain what these websites be doing because they all do the same thing. They sell clothes. But what I can say with Koi is that I've worked with them not once but now twice. And their quality has gotten tremendously better between the two drops. So what I like about them is that like they progressively growing. You know what I'm saying? The first drop was like, okay, cool. You guys got some nice stuff. The second drop, the video I just did like last week. Go back on the channel a couple weeks. You'll see it. The last drop they did was really really good like they have some really good pieces so why well, i see is that the quality is going up so it's getting better and better and they already got some good pieces as it is so i'd say hop on to it and one thing if you do shop there they fit oversized already i don't know i don't remember if it says that or not but they fit oversized so if you're a large buy a medium if you're medium buy a small unless you really like that oversized look like with the sleeves and everything i'm not a fan of my sleeves being past my elbows so if you don't like that Get a size under, just putting y'all on. And if you want and you do shop there, go to the video and use my link. You'll save some money off. I think it's like 15 to 20%, something like that. Let me put y'all on, man. You can save some money. If you do shop there, can't lie. Number six is K-Clot. And I say this website because I don't remember if the prices were cheap or like average or whatever. I know they weren't expensive though. And the quality on some of these pieces was some of the best qualities you could have. I don't even know if that made sense, but the quality on it is insane. They got great ass quality. I cannot hold you. But with that being said, I also worked with them in the past. So boom, if you guys want a code, go back to my K-Clot video. I think again, it's like 20%, something like that. I don't remember these codes, but look back, you'll find them in the videos. You'll save money and they have some of the best quality. They have fire pieces. So yeah, go shop there, can't lie. Number seven, we have Roy Wee. Roy Wee, I forgot the name of it, but Roy Wee. They're like LinkedIn with Sheen. I don't know, but I know them as their own website. But when I was shopping on Sheen, I seen that they have their own section there too. So it's kind of both, it's in Sheen, but they also got their own website. That's why I put it on the list though, you feel me? But 
Rumwe, whatever it's called, very nice. The quality, I put it with the same machine. It's an it or or, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, it's lopsided. It's whatever you want to pick. To me, they're like the exact same. But what I can say is that Sheen has a thing where they have after pay, so you can split your payments before. That's what I always do. If you're not on top of your money and all that, don't do it. But if you are, splitting up into four payments makes it way easier, at least for me. I don't know if Rumwe has that. If they don't, I'm gonna say go to Sheen. If they do, I'm gonna say go to Rumwe because the quality is a little bit better, but it's damn near like the same thing. Can't hold you. Number eight, you cannot sleep on them, and that's Walmart. I can't hold y'all. Walmart has gotten a lot of money out of me on their graphic tee. Now, one thing I can say is that it shrinks heavily. It shrinks heavily, but I've had pieces from Walmart for like over two years, and they've been in and out of the wash like a hundred times, and the quality still stay the same. I know, it's Walmart, but they've upped their stuff. Walmart is not bad. Like Walmart is not bad at all. Don't get it twisted. Walmart has some good ass stuff. It's just that it shrinks. So get a size up or expect to wear it like three times. I can't hold y'all. Number nine, we have tpublic.com. And what I like about this website is I think, I think it's like, it's a print on website. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of golden tees of people's like printed on stuff, but they have some of the best graphics you want. Like the rapper graphics, all the cool ones, the cool graphics, like with the rappers, the public figures, all those graphics you see on Instagram and TikTok, they have them there and they have them for a cheap price because usually people want to charge 50, 60, $100 for a graphic tee, not me, not me. That's why I go over to a public tee, whatever it's called, and you pay like what, $20? I think it was like $15, I've seen something for like 10. That's just me though, you know what I'm saying? I like saving money, so I don't really mind about quality like that, it's just like a bonus for me, but some people need their quality. So. It's whatever you want, really. Can't lie. Number 10 is Fashion Nova. Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me, Fashion Nova, it seems to be dying off a little bit. To me, Fashion Nova is really just an upgraded sheen. It's a sheen that's way more upgraded. You know what I'm saying? It's like up there more. You know what I'm saying? The quality is higher. But I've never shopped there before. I can't hold y'all. I don't shop there. Never had a piece of them. Never got to work with them yet. So I can't tell y'all how good or how not good it is. But it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's there because I'm going to put it on the list. It's there. There ain't too much I can say. They have fire ass pieces. So their fire, their pieces are very nice. It look like it good. With what I've seen, it looks like it's really good. They have really good jeans. I just don't know about their t-shirts. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know. Number 12, we got Etsy. It's in between like, between fast fashion places like your fashion over your sheen and boutique stores, vintage stores, stuff like that. It's like in the middle, to me at least. Every every piece I've found there is like in between it. So it's like they have a lot of pieces with good quality and the prices ain't too high. And what I like about it is that the money actually goes to a person. You know what I'm saying? Someone really gets bread off of it. Yes, when you pay for something, it goes to somebody, but it's going to these brands. You know what I'm saying? But when you actually get to buy something off someone, me being as a seller from being on both sides, I like knowing that I'm paying somebody for real. You get what I'm saying? Like it's a good feeling I have inside it. That's why I like shopping at Etsy and places like eBay's, Kijiji, all that, because you're actually paying someone. It feels good to actually like give them money and not you paying to a big ass brand who you don't really know gets the money. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just me. Etsy has some good ass pieces, cannot lie, can't lie. Number 13, we got a Hot Topic. You know what I'm saying? Now Hot Topic is your local, everybody knows them. You walk into the store, you buy a bunch of graphic teasers on that fat ass wall. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now Hot Topic got some good ass stuff, but what I can say personally, if you got the money, you win the mall, you see something, buy it. But they have been charging crazy. Now me, I just might be different because I don't like spending money. So I don't really like justifying $35 for a t-shirt, buy two for 50. I'm not really justifying myself for that because I know I can buy it cheaper. Like the things I just showed y'all on the list. But that's just me though. They have some good ass stuff, but me personally, I just can't do it myself. Me personally, I cannot pay that much. But you made me different. You, you, your, your pockets might be a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? Or I just save more money. I don't know. I just like, I, that's just me though. That's me. Number 14, we got Spencer's. Now Spencer's is a store that you don't want to walk all the way to the end because at the back it gets zesty as hell. I can't hold y'all. But Spencer's is just like Hot Topic. It's literally the front of those two stores are like the exact same, except Spencer's has all those arrogant, inappropriate graphic tees that go hard. They look good. 
just don't go to the back of the store. Trust me, you see some crazy stuff back there. Can't lie. And number 15, and I'm gonna emphasize this the most, and that's your local brand. If you have $50 for a t-shirt, instead of going to these brands, bro, go to your local consignment shops. Go to your friend's brand. Go to your friend's friend's brand. Support other people. Support small businesses. I really like doing that, you know what I'm saying? If I got the money to spend, I'm gonna rather spend it at a place that I know I'm really paying them for real. I'm really helping grow their brand versus a major corporation. You know what I'm saying? That's just me though. Me personally, me personally, I like supporting others. So number 15, go to local people. And a lot of the times they put their heart, blood, sweat, and soul into them pieces. So the quality is really good compared to a normal screen printed on t-shirt. But hey, that's just me. That's just me personally. I'm not trying to say anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to instigate, but me personally, I like supporting others. <laughs> you feel me? But hey, if you enjoyed that list, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you enjoyed, you know what I'm saying? I hope you found a website. I gave you 15. If you couldn't find one website, it's kind of crazy. But if you enjoyed this full video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go to 2K. Have a good day. Love y'all. And peace. Face out.